Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, a few of you have asked me in the past week and today is actually the day we see it uh, pretty much mainstream. Uh, if you decide that you want to move on to uh, Windows 10 22H2, the uh, Windows 10 22H2, which is not an official uh, release yet because it's going to be in October of this year. Uh, if you move on through the tricks that I've shown you, either download the uh, enablement package or go to the release preview ring in Windows Insiders, um, it shows that we're really in mainstream as I have had the uh, same update for security today as uh, standard Windows 10 21H1, 21H2. So that shows us that 22H2 has really received and re reached the mainstream of the uh, Windows 10 operating system. Of course, like I said uh, many times, this is going to arrive eventually this fall. So, you know, and there's just pretty much almost nothing in here. So it's really not worth, um, you know, go getting it in advance if you just wait for it and that's it. Uh, but for those that have moved on and were worrying or were wondering if we would get the security updates like all the other versions, all the standard updates, it shows us that, yep, it is, as you see here, if I view my history here, uh, you can see that. So I moved to feature update on 22H2, and I did get today the same cumulative update as the other versions of Windows 10, KB5016616, to fix the security flaws. So that just tells us that uh, the standard updates will apply like every other versions of Windows 10. So if uh, there's bug fixing updates for the, um, you know, release preview updates as they call them later this month, we're going to get them. And of course, the security updates, which are the most important, we're going to get them also. And uh, brings us uh, our build, which is 19.045. It brings it to 1889, basically. So the security updates apply and uh, are the same for across the platform. So it's as if you would be in, you know, just Windows 10 22H2, the standard version um, that everybody um, is. So that is going to be interesting to see, um, you know, after that what happens. But uh, for now, it seems that this is going to be the, the pace of Windows 10 with enablement packages uh, throughout the next um, years, you know, um, every time that we're going to have something at the end of uh, each year to kind of push the version number and push the expiration date of Windows 10 because Windows 10 expires every 18 months. That's why we need to have that update to continue having it working. And this is going to go on until 2025. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.